Water is essential for life. Fortunately for us, we live on a water planet. Water covers 71% of the Earth's surface. But this does not mean we can use it as we please. Only 2.5% is fresh water, and just 0.01% is usable by humans. In addition, water is not uniformly distributed in all regions. Nine countries, including Brazil, Russia, Canada, and China, have more than 60% of the world's fresh water, while countries with desert areas like the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are under extreme water shortage. Surrounded by the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea, and with a population of about 30 million, the desalination of seawater is a key player in the water supply of the kingdom. During the last three decades, Saudi Arabia has experienced comprehensive development resulting in increasing water consumption, mostly in agriculture, followed by the municipal and industrial sectors. To supply the water needs of the kingdom, desalination plants produce more than 1 billion cubic meters of fresh water per year, which is about 26% of the world total. Saudi Arabia has become a global leader in both the development and use of desalination technologies, which now have replaced groundwater as the primary source of drinking water in the kingdom. The desalination process requires significant amounts of capital and energy. Currently, there are several different technologies available, which can be classified as membrane and thermal processes. Thermal processes occupy 34% of the water desalination market. They involve the heating of saline water and collecting condensed pure water. Multi-stage flash MSF, distillation is the most common thermal desalination technique. This process uses the same distillation principle through several chambers. The vapor generated by flashing is converted into fresh water. This process requires high temperatures and high power consumption. Another approach to treat the saline water is the implementation of membranes. For example, reverse osmosis, RO, represents 60% of the desalination market. The water is pushed through a semi-permeable membrane, which removes molecules and ions by applying high pressure. In most cases, an RO process requires pre-treatment to avoid membrane fouling by sediments, organic matter, bacteria, etc. Membrane processes consume four times less energy than thermal ones, which is why they are becoming more widely used. To learn more about water desalination, we talked to Professor Nurdin Gafur from the Water Desalination and Reuse Center in King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. Well, when you say water desalination in Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. uh, it's not a joke. Mm-hmm. Water desalination is providing the main source of fresh water for the population. Exactly. Saudi is the, the global leader of water desalination in the world. They are producing almost a quarter of the total desalination uh, capacity in the world. There are a lot of cities, and I just give as an example Riyadh, which is the largest city in the Middle East. It is provided by fresh water coming from 400 kilometers away from the eastern side, because Riyadh is not located near the sea. This is, this is just to say that there is no other alternative than desalination. As you can imagine, uh, in the beginning, uh, water desalination was mainly uh, done uh, through what we call thermal-based desalination, especially in, the, in Saudi Arabia and in the region. We use thermal uh, energy to uh, transfer seawater into fresh water. Although we know that this technology consumed a lot of energy, much more than reverse osmosis, for example, but it was, first, it was the only choice at that time, and second, it was a very mature technology and people know how to handle it and how to operate. But in the recent years, as you can see in the last one or two years, you see we are going towards replacing the thermal-based technologies into reverse osmosis, which is using a membrane. It is also energy intensive, but much, much less than thermal-based. If we go a little back uh, a few years ago, uh, People were trying to replace thermal based by reverse osmosis, but they, are, they were facing a lot of challenges. The main challenge of that is fouling, membrane fouling. As you know, membranes, they are doing a very good job, but they get fouled. Do not forget that the seawater quality in this region is much harder than any other places, like in the Mediterranean or any ocean. First, the salinity is higher, but more importantly, we have a lot of biological 
activities in this region. Mm -hmm. So we need a more extensive pretreatment in order to have a very successful reversal of this plant. So we are doing a lot of innovative processes which are more efficient, mm -hmm. consumes less energy, and which could be connected or integrated with renewable energy. Because currently we are using a lot of renewable energy for desalination, but in an uh, indirect way. So what we are doing is to have a more integrated approach in using renewable energy like solar or geothermal mm -hmm. for innovative processes like membrane distillation, fluid osmosis, adsorption, desalination. And we are also working a lot in hybridizing different technologies in one site. In this way, we can use, uh, let's say, uh, the advantages of each process in the other one and to enhance the performance of these plants. Mm -hmm.